Hey guys, welcome back to Team Deathslinger. My name is Peter, and today we are looking at Chaos Mon D Brigade. Um, so the point of the deck is to play Chaos Mon. We are technically on theme here. Uh, we're going Dark Dramon and Boncho Leomon. Uh, so let's get right into it. We have one copy of the BT14 Missy Mon. When attacking, once per turn, you can return three cards with D Brigade or Digi Police trait from your trash to the top of the deck to get 2k DP for the turn. Um, this is just the extra egg to make sure we have five. And we want four copies of the EX3 Missimon. Opponent's turn when you have another Digimon with D Brigade in its traits in play. This Digimon gains reboot. Uh, that's just going to be generically good in this deck. Four copies of the BT14 Commandermon on play. Reveal top five of your deck. Add a card with D Brigade or Digi Police among them to the hand. Return the rest to top or bottom of the deck. And then the Inheritable is our generic protection effect. When this Digimon would leave the battle area other than by one of your effects. By deleting one of your other Digimon with D Brigade trait, prevent it from leaving. So that's good. Because that does not specify that the Digimon itself has to have D-Brigade, just the Digimon you delete. So we can get protection on our Chaos Mon um, or our level 5s as well. Then we have four copies of BT-16 Commander Mon. All turns, all of your other Digimon with the D-Brigade or Digipolice trait get 1k DP. And the Inheritable says the same. I just like the little DP boost. I think it's useful. You could change the ratios on this guy. You could go with the Blocker Commander Mons uh, or the Decoy Commander Mons. I think both are good. Um... But this is just the one I threw in the deck. Then we have four copies of BT4 Commander Mon. Uh, this one is on deletion. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. You may play one Commander Mon among them without paying its memory cost. Place the remaining at the bottom of your deck in any order. Uh, so this is going to help us spam out more Commander Mons. So this one is mandatory at four along with the BT14 one. Then we have four copies of BT14 Nume Mon. On play and one Digivolving by placing one Satsuki. From your hand as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card. One of your Digimon gains Rush for the turn. Uh, and the Inheritable is Blocker. This is just kind of a great way to get Satsuki on the board for free and collect a free check while you're at it. Um, also, if we hit this off of our Cargo Dramons, we can play this guy for free and then tuck the Satsuki from our hand down, and we just get a lot of value off of that. So I do like this card as a way to uh, get the Rush checks in and get our free value. Then four copies of High Commander Mon. When attacking, reveal the top three cards of your deck. You can play one card with Deeper Gate or Digi Police and a play cost of three or less among them without paying the cost. Uh, again, this hits Commander Mon and Nume Mon as well, uh, or Satsuki. Um, and then the rest go bottom. The Inheritable is the same as the BT14 Commander Mon. When this card would leave the battle area by... Other than by one of your effects, you can delete one of your other D Brigade Digimon to prevent it from leaving. So that is uh, quite powerful. Then I like to round it out with two copies of Jamming Seals Ramon from EX3. Uh, the Inheritable is also kind of relevant. When you play another Digimon with D Brigade in its traits, it may gain Rush for the turn. Um, which is just good when we play out bodies off the cargo. Um, which is it, just generically strong. Going into our level 5s, we have 3 copies of BT14 Cargo Dramon. On play and 1 Digivolving, reveal the top 3 cards of your deck. You can play 1 card with D-Brigade or Digipolice and a play cost of 4 or less among them without paying the cost. Uh, trash the rest. This is just good for getting all of our small bodies on the board to make sure we have DNA fodder or protection fodder. And then all turns when one of your other Digimon is deleted, you can reveal the top 3 cards of your deck and play a Commandermon among them without paying the cost. Trash the rest. So that'll also keep our board nice and wide. Then our bridge card to make sure we can get into Boncho, Leomon, or Dark Dramon is the Promo Nightmon. It is yellow black blocker. It will cost four to Digivolve, which is not ideal. Um, however, on play when Digivolving, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3k for the turn for each of your Digimon. So this actually synergizes pretty well with D Brigade. Um, you get your board nice and wide, and you can actually zap something down and make it nice and small or kill it. Um, and it can go into either of our level 6s. The Inheritable is also when another Digimon attacks. You can play a yellow or black level 3 from your hand without paying the cost. Uh, so this can get us more Commander Mons on the board as well, which it's just good. Uh, the only thing that really hurts about it is that it costs 4 to uh, Digivolve into. For our Megas, we're going to go 3 copies of the BT16 Dark Dramon. Um, I like this card because it can reduce its play cost and pops a body. So when this card would be played, if there's a Digimon with the boss trait, Reduce the play cost by 6, so it becomes 7 cost. And then by returning 6 cards with the D Brigade trait from your trash to the top of the deck, reduce the play cost by 6. On play and when Digivolving, reveal the top 3 cards of your deck. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with as high or lower a play cost as one Digimon card among them. Trash the revealed cards. And then end of your turn, two of your Digimon may DNA Digivolve into Chaos Mon in the hand. So ideally, we would Digivolve our stack into Nightmon. Uh, which can be in the back or out front, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but we want enough D Brigade cards that we can hard slam this effectively for one, uh, because we're going to reduce it by six for having the Boncho on board, and then reduce it by another six by returning six D Brigade cards uh, to top deck. And then end of turn, we are allowed to DNA into the Chaos Mon, uh, and that is a big bad threat to have against your opponent. So that is why this is at three. 
One copy of the BT4 Darkdramon. This has Rush and On Play. You can return five Digimon cards with Deep Brigade in their uh, types from your trash to the top of the deck. For each card you return, you gain two memory. So effective, he's a uh, he's a three cost Rush body. Um, but I do also like him because he is just a three cost Darkdramon that we can slam down for DNA fodder. And if we need the Rush body for game and we don't have a new Memon, uh, this does the job as well. Four copies of the EX5 Boncho Leomon. When this card would be played by, uh, from the hand, if there's six or fewer total cards in both player security stacks, reduce the play cost by five. So this also costs seven to hard slam in the right circumstances. And then on play when Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. All turns when a Digimon becomes suspended, you may have one of your opponent's Digimon get minus 4,000 DP and gain security attack minus one until the end of their turn. Um, it kind of matters, kind of doesn't matter. Minus 4k in this deck is too small to do anything other than clear a chump. Uh, but the Nightmon will also give a DP minus effect, and then you could go into this, and maybe that's enough to finish off a Mega. Um, it mostly feels like a win harder card, but we do want it for the DNA into Chaos Mon, uh, and this would be what we want to promote out of raising in order to do our shenanigans. Three copies of the new BT16 Chaos Mon. Uh, this is DNA Digivolve with a black and a yellow level 6 for 0. It has Barrier, Blocker, and Partition. Uh, if you have not seen what Partition does yet, when this Digimon with each of the specified Digivolution cards would leave the battle area, other than by your effects or battle, you may play one each of the specified cards without paying the cost. So if this card dies by an effect, uh, you can play out the Boncho and the Dark Dramon. Uh, then when, when digivolving, D digivolve 3 on one of your opponent's Digimon, and then one of their Digimon gets minus 8k for the turn. And then end of opponent's turn, you trash the top card of both player security stacks, and as a rule, this uh, has both the boss and deep brigade traits. So if it matters, uh, you can play another Dark Dramon while this is on board for the reduced cost. Um, this is just a big bad boss monster. Uh, blocker and Barrier is actually kind of a really strong combo. He is a big 15k body. He's going to be kind of hard to swing past, uh, and the Barrier will allow him to stick around if you wanted to, uh, and if not, you can just drop your materials back on the board to DNA back into this and trigger your D-Digivolve 3. I will say, you probably want to drop this when your opponent has something on board so you can get that D-Digivolve effect and minus DP them. Uh, the nice thing about D-Brigade is that you're going to go nice and wide and kind of pressure your opponent into being aggressive because if they're passive you're just going to chip them out with all your d brigade cards uh so you should have an opportunity to punish them with the chaos mod that is the uh the game plan here then we have four copies of defense training just reveal top two grab a black card and then delay digivolve into a black digimon for a reduced cost of two um then i have one copy of izzy uh it does feel bad to hit the boncho leomon on this but um i think this is a good memory tamer for the deck and um the potential to just gain the memory back is it's it is what it is if not you're paying for memory to get a memory tamer and uh, fix the top three cards of your deck so he's all right you could also probably run the um the other digi police memory setter i forget her name um but she's probably viable in this deck as well then two copies of analog youth uh, a lot of all of our dark dramons really like when we have digimon in the trash uh this is also a non-discriminate searcher so he will find us a digimon so we can actually grab the boncho leomon off the search with this which is important uh, and then the three copies of Satsuki to play with our Numemons, gave us a memory back, and to Mind Link. Um, so, overall, the deck wants to go wide, uh, give you an opportunity to DNA into the Chaos Mon to punish your opponent's response to your aggression. You did Digivolve them by three and just start swinging in for your big damage. Uh, so, that is it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.